Guardian versus Jaina. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. We still want to keep Wrath here. It's too important to kill Mana Worm. Chromulus Maximus, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here is a Crowfist. Nah, I don't like breaking the block. I don't, I don't, because I'm dead on board if I break the block. I don't think it's worth it to go for the, I don't know, 1 in 10,000 that it's not a block. Like, I, I know it's a block. It's not even a question. It's, yeah, that Sigurus player, or very early game, didn't proc all game, and as, you know, Sturmus deck. Not only secrets, the, the running of that deck is barrier and block, so. I would still rather, you know, not, not play the concede play. My wife hates every other streamer on Twitch except for you. She loves you. <laughs> cool. I watched this anime today about like this like witches. They're like a witches in an academy. It's pretty cool. I watched like four episodes today. Have you been working out? No, nah, not really, but yeah. Not really. I'm gonna go to DreamHack Austin uh, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm leaving, I believe, Thursday morning. Fresh from runs out on me. Oh, that's a punish. We're not trading. I mean, I haven't really been particularly trying to diet either. We want to say this from Mediv. I like Ooze in this deck a lot. Jadrud is usually, like, healing is really good for this deck because Jadrud beats every other deck late game. It's like the ultimate late game deck. Mediv is normally the way that they would win this matchup because Mediv can generate so much tempo that you lose from, from it. It's not the Little Witch Academia, it's a new one this season. Let me see. This jungle hides many. It's called like Akashic Records or something. Okay, play that. How much do you miss Mulch? I kind of miss Mulch. Mulch is a huge difference not having now because Mage, I mean, Druid doesn't have any hard removal anymore. It's actually really uh, weak to Alex Draws and Antonidas and Freeze Mage. I feel like it makes up for it though with how good Odin Scales is, but hmm. definitely miss it, yeah. Naturalize is pretty different than Mulch. Because Naturalize you always give them two good cards, and Mulch you usually give them one bad card. It's a big, big difference. It's not just two good cards, it's two good cards from their deck. So it even helps, like most decks are better off drawing their entire deck because of consistency and stuff like that. Naturalize has the upside of mill, but that's the corner case. Like, it's not the norm. Good card to see. You know, if we, if we fail rage and swipe, we can remove everything without even losing our eye. So let's do that. I don't think naturalize is needed, no. I mean, you can only use that effect based on how good the card you're using is, right? Naturalize is not good enough to use in Jidrid. You're just gonna have to deal with not having the mulch effect. I mean, you can still kill stuff with Swipe and Wrath, Fell Rage. It's just um, not as efficient. I'd probably even just rather, like, you know, double Wrath or Wrath Swipe, than even a big minion, than naturalize it. We still have Feral Rage. And two Earthen Skills. Wow, uh, pretty painful.
Dullness in this deck? Hmm. I generally like Dullness more when Dominion is, matters more like in Shaman, because of Flame Tongue Totems and things like that. Let's think about Meteor positioning here. Ooh, that's 4 damage to give up. That's a lot of damage with the dynamic of this game. It's a little bit better against Meteor. But he doesn't even have Ice Block down. Meteor Trade Ping. Okay, so... This will be a 3-4 after 3-3 three, three, and then at the Drake. I think it's bad because my next my next turn I have to Primordial Drake again against Meteor. Like, that's my only development minion is Drake. If I had another Jade minion... Or like stuff like Nourish or Cheap Spells, like Wild Growth. With Gadget, I feel like it would be okay for me to do it the other way. Uh, we're gonna have to burn our Auctioneer here. Not a great miracle turn. Considering this always has to be on the right, I think this is the best meteor position that, that I have. Because it's better from the meteor gadget than um, Jade Behemoth with how the trades work, right? Because this trade, like if the meteor is here and has to trade for a 4 4, this is a 5 1. Whereas if he meteor, like if I place it here, he can just trade here, ping, and meteor, and he'll have a 5-2 left, I think. Four four has to be on the right because it spawns there, yeah. They're always doing that. I could pre-develop a well growth here. Yeah, I definitely like it. But I'm not gonna use the second half. In case I draw auctioneer next turn. But with the nourish, like it's too much mana. If I nourish and I have to wall growth the cycle, that's seven mana. I can't do anything. Whereas I can excess mana if I miss the nourish and still play uh four drops and stuff. This match was all about board control. You usually don't lose the Alex Draws and Burn because uh healing. Jade Dread is way too much healing with Earth and Skills now. But it, because of no mulch anymore. It, you can lose to Alex Straza and Antonidas and Mediv. Like, you can lose to a board control. That's the way you lose mostly. Yeah, this is this is Mage J. Dre. I copied it from him. I'd like to ooze hero power here. It's so clean. Mediv is hard because he gets his block popped most of the time. And plus it's just so awkward to play anything else. I can Fandral Nourish next turn. And play some Jade Idols. I'm assuming since they have two left in the deck. I mean, to be honest, like to to answer most of these questions about would you rather have this in your deck? If I would rather have it in my deck, I would have it in my deck. Like I'd probably not rather have those cards in my deck simply because I don't have them in my deck. What to do? What to do? Wilds. 
Ah, uh, no Jade Idols. I wanted to draw Jade Idols first before, you know, auctioneering and getting, like, the crazy chain because it's actually hard. Like, my deck is... It's not heavy enough with Jade Idols yet for this last auctioneer. That's a good draw, though. I got so much value from that Fair Rage. We're kind of low, but, I mean, it should be fine. I have two Earthen Scales left and seven, one in my hand, and I can get my Jade counter to huge with Gadget... Double innervate. Well, I mean, as soon as I draw the Jade Idol, I want to cycle. So, like, the order should go gadget innervate. Like, I don't double innervate. Like, the moment I draw Jade, I don't want it. I want to immediately cycle that in so I can keep going. Especially if Fandral survives. He's so sick. Do we consider double? I think so, actually. These cards are heavy. I don't need a powerful turn this turn. Like, this is a power. First of all, this is a powerful turn. This turn on board is probably more powerful than my Gadgetan turn. Like, I probably have more stuff on board. And the longer I wait, the better. It is for me because I have like more cards to Miracle. These cards don't help me Miracle. Also, the longer I wait, because I'm probably going to have to burn my Earthen Scales on the Miracle turn too. Because it's a spell for Gadget. And the bigger my Jades are, the more armor I gain from those Earthen. Strife Crow, my name from Warcraft 3. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about how to position for Meteor this turn. He's gonna get his block here if he doesn't trade this guy. I got the best deals Out of cards. At the order doesn't matter, my whole deck is the same card. <laughs> Actually, I actually need to cycle one more. I'm casting three more spells. That makes sense. Right now, we're not like taking fatigue damage. If we didn't cycle, then we would have taken fatigue damage. It's not what we want. We still save this, right? We need to play it one, unfortunately, because it was weird with how our deck, you know, lined up. Like we didn't have, we didn't draw the Jedi on wall growth until pretty late. What's your take on Quest Mage? I feel like it's not even a tournament deck. I'm not sure. I don't think it's good in tournaments either. I think Quest Mage is kind of weak. For the most part, I think quests are kind of underpowered in general. It's just Hearthstone is very snowbally. And uh, Quest Mage is too easily disruptable if you build around like an OTK combo. And if you don't build around an OTK combo, you're probably just better off not using the quest. Malfurion versus Garrosh. Victory on death. I must protect the wild. Dr. Jikiniki. I think it's be Pirate Warrior, to be honest. But, you know, I can do this and it'll be good against Taunt Warrior, too. Jade Blossoms is, uh, I'm worried. Definitely worried. Keeping the Jade Blossom. It's kind of weird. Pirate Warrior, the most important thing is, like, swipe. And Blossom doesn't really help. Because you're swiping the same turn, going from three to five, skipping the four. But I mean, it's hard to mulligan Jade Blossom, so ah, lucky me. I doubt that if Journey on Grow or Zero Mana Discovery would change the card in competitive too much. I could be wrong, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like that's what makes or breaks it. I don't need to play the Blossom. 
I can go Jade Spirit into Aya. Let the pain speak to me. I don't think we want to play like both of these. It's a lot of pressure though. I don't like Jade Blossom. It's either Jade Spirit or Jade Spirit into Red Blossom. It's never just Jade Blossom here. It's mostly for Gadget, huh? Let's do this. Because this makes my eye that much stronger too. And it's a, a lot of tempo. I have Earthen Scales, so if I draw a Gadget, I shouldn't be card dead. Like, I'm just scared I top that Gadget and completely dead on cards. But because of Earthen Scales, I don't think that'll happen. We had to play that skills, it was too good to hit the breakpoints. Now we have the Innervate, so Gadget's still not like a bad troll. Like most of this stuff is, most of this deck is either cards that can cycle, like Wrath and stuff, even like Welker at this point, or Jade cards, which are all good. Couple maybe like Blanks, like Earthen Scales, maybe Fair Rage could be Tar Creeper, but there's not that many of those cards. Vandral kind of. Most of my decks is good top decks though. Probably want to do this and Aya, and not the 4 4 because of Sleep of the Fishies. Oh, that doesn't make sense, huh? <laughs> I just tried 2 2 and okay. I think I kind of like Jet Idol here. His coins, it could go Dirty Rap Brawl. Ah, let's hold. You're not allowed to use Deck Tracker at tournaments, at least not usually. Some tournaments allow you to use pen and paper. I'm not sure how common that stuff is anymore. In the old Hearthstone tournaments, like they allowed you to use pen and paper more. I don't know if really people even did it though, even when it was allowed. I ain't talking. You no Not much to think about this turn. At least you can cycle the wall growth next turn. I don't think we'd play anything over Jade Behemoth. It's our single biggest minion. Even if we wall growth into Jade Spirit, I don't think we want to play everything into Brawl. If we draw Gadget, we're good anyways. So I, I clearly don't think about like not wall growthing here. Let's do this. I like this the best. I like just storing the excess mana and not using it before Jade Behemoth because we're never playing anything other than Aya this turn. I mean Behemoth. We already played Aya's right, so there's no Aya to play. That's our best individual Jade card to play, and we don't even want to play two Jade cards. Nice, pays off. I mean, in a way, like I could have held and it might have been better, but you know, it's good enough. That's our last, so we want to cycle. That way we can hit more with the stroll. Jade Idol. Nope. Gadget is so good in this deck. 
all of Sun's game was from like looking close to kind of looking over for him. And yeah, Strife Crew, you're very good. Thank you. Good luck in rank one. Thank you. I hope so. Hope I get rank one before going to Austin. I mean, we don't have to kill everything here. I would probably just say Nourish and Jade Spirit here and just leave up the Dirty Rat, take a trade. Do you ever worry about relying on deck trackers? Not really, because I'm much more focused in a tournament than streaming for four hours. Like, I don't really have that much hard time re remembering everything in a tournament. Plus, people also have the same liability in a tournament. They also don't use deck trackers. When you stream, people look at your stream too, it's just even worse. Would keep playing rank one and improve MR? Yeah, I would. If I hit rank one today, I'm gonna keep playing for at least five games if I keep winning. Or if I win like five games at rank one, I'll probably stop for this season and play in EU. Are you doing anything in around Austin besides Dreamhack? Probably visit my uh, sister and parents. They're coming to Austin. I haven't seen them for a while. They live around there, so I don't really have too much plans. Maybe party at DreamHack if there's good parties. I've been noticing that people like to like the deck tracker thing. Like I notice a lot of people uh, on other people's streams have the deck tracker. Like it automatically updates. Uh, I would just say double idle here. It's cute with Gadgetzan, but then our deck is so Jade Owl heavy, we should build a miracle. We can might have lethal here. If it's face or lethal. Double swipe. Can have 12 or 2 damage off lethal here. We need to maintain board. I can low, but I don't think so. I mean, there's no point not playing it because of the auctioneer. I'm not sure if it makes sense to cycle either, because we already have like three of them in our deck. Like, we have a lot of idols already. We cycle one more, what's the difference? We have six instead of three in our deck? Like, it doesn't seem right, because I don't feel like it's any difference. I don't like how you can't- <clears throat> I don't like how you can match people over and over again. I think that's something that they should work on. Like, I just don't think you should be able to fight the same person twice in a row. That way you don't have to like Q-dodge every game and things like that. It feels weird to have to dodge or switch decks every game because you know, someone's doing it wrong if you keep playing the same deck, same matchup. Like, one person has to have the worst matchup. Guy plays in the Zoth Shaman? Oh, could be. We'll see. Yeah, he did miss his early game curve. Much more likely. I'm gonna play this against Shaman. I don't know his deck list, but he didn't play J Claws on two. And 
A lot of shamans aren't running any weapons right now. I almost like Fandral here. It's just the force of hex, Jade Lightning. This Tar Creeper is not good at offensively trading, and Fandral something he has to kill. I mean, he could still Jade Lightning and trade in, but like that's still not efficient in a way. I don't really have a good hand for Fandral, so I prefer to use it as more of a bait. Even if he doesn't kill it, it's still not bad to play Fandral, because uh, I was going to coin Volcano. Oh, nice! That's so good for me. That that Fandral did work. Like he basically forced a volcano here. We want to. We don't need J Blossom. I feel like we want something that can stomp totems this turn because they're overloaded. Like just the one one, not good. We can play Blossom this turn, then Auctioneer with the scales. Definitely not using Earthen Scales to protect my board a little bit because of the gadgets. I mean, it's not really a bad play. Think about it, like, you just kind of instantly lose the game to Nourish if they have it. But we want one on Gadget, at least. Because 5-5 five, five against 4-5. I simply don't think it's worth the trade in, even though it's like lightning storm and stuff. If I trade both ends of 4 1, he can just trade the 4 1 into my 5 5 and maelstrom. It, like, it's just too weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I agree with that. Like, it's, it's not like it's played as bad, it's just we know my hand, right? He doesn't know my hand. It's just it's something I kind of have to do, it feels. Ooh, <laughs> good rolls in both. Nice, hit a burn one extra maelstrom this turn. We want to swipe hero power, and I don't think we need a fell rage for armor. I see something to do this turn. This is kind of a bad turn for me. Like, that's not a strong board, a 4 5. And I had to swipe it instead of developing Jade. But we didn't have anything to develop here. We're just trying to buy a turn for Gadget next turn. Thank you for the code yesterday. You're a true homie. No problem. Probably Nazoth, huh? If I got a Jade, I'd consider it over Gadget, but not without the Jade. That was our last Jade Idol, so we had to cycle that one in. We use both gadgets early this game, though. Looks like he's setting up for uh, Nazoth. It's only Karen right now, though. I don't have spell power swipe. You know, the good thing about his right now is there's a good chance that he doesn't use um, Flame Tongue. I think Double Jade is the way to go. I have to spend 5 or 6 mana to kill one thing from blow with spells. Feels weird. I'd recommend this deck, it's good. I'm playing America. He's not playing Bloodless. It feels like a control shaman. He's running Volcano. That's the complete opposite card of Bloodless and Flame Tongue. Uh oh.
2 2 is weaker against Maelstrom, but I think this turn could get like double AoE too, like Maelstrom and Lightning Storm or something. I think it makes more sense to keep these minions more healthy than this Jade Spirit. He has double thing. Thing from Blood is by far the scariest thing echoed because there's zero mana 5-5s. Five uh, the thing is not going back far enough. I don't get to see exactly what he spirit out good. I think it was, what, two things from below? Bog Champ, Stonehill Defender, and some Totems. He's going to have at least 10 times worth of stats with Double Thing here. Probably Stonehill. Start with the Discover. I'm not sure if I can beat like the lightning storm maelstroms anymore. That's my last Jade Idol I had to play, but I don't think it's good for me to wait. Like, uh, it means that my deck doesn't go infinite anymore. But I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna lose some tempo if I don't have an extra nine nine here. Not sure if that's the best way to do this either. We should have thought about more concepts. I think the concept I didn't want to play Tark Reaper because I want to play Feral, Feral instead. It wasn't like a great Feral though. But the point is like I'm already so weak to AoE. It doesn't make sense to play another minion. All in. I have to win on tempo. He has too many cards. <laughs> what do you mean bottom right? You mean for him, right? <laughs> Maybe. Like Volcano can't clear. I mean he can't even trade in his totems for Volcano and so they hit his board. And I mean it doesn't even clear. I have way too much power and life on board. Maybe devolve, but that doesn't like who knows what it'll do. Okay, he's not gonna devolve. It doesn't make sense to volcano into devolve. It makes sense to devolve into Volcano. <laughs> that didn't kill anything. All it killed was his own minions. Is he dead? Yeah. Bottom right. 